These four verbs focus on the stem change from O to UE. They're found on page 27. These particular ones um, have that stem change from O to UE, but they have different endings. One, two are AR verbs, one is an ER verb, and the last is an IR verb. You need to be sure to follow those rules and remember their stem change as we conjugate and use them in context. One of the other cautions that I'd like to remind you about is to not just focus on the physical change that happens in the stem change when we use them in context, but also on how the verb changes in sound. When we talk about verbs in the stem change, when they're in the infinitive form, they always use their original form, or such. Let's go. Yo almuerzo. Tu almuerzas. Mi madre almuerza. And because we need to remember that it's a subject, and we don't conjugate in those subjects, we continue with nosotros yo almorzamos vosotros o tus amigos y tú almorzáis y mis padres Here are some other contexts as examples cuando almuerza uh, cuando almuerzas tú con los amigos o Donde almuerzan tus padres? And then here's one for you to do. I'll give you a moment to think. ¿A qué hora tus amigos y tú? ¿A qué hora almuerzáis tus amigos y tú? Because that's outside the boot. Next verb, costar. Here are two more for you to look at. ¿Cuánto cuesta cortarse el pelo? How much does it cost to cut your hair? When you use an infinitive immediately following, and if you've defined that as your subject, the infinitive requires a singular conjugation of the verb. Here's another example. ¿Cuánto cuesta entrar en el cine? The subject of the sentence is entrar en el cine, and therefore the conjugation must be singular. Here's one for you to do. ¿Cuánto un asistir a la escuela de Brookstone? ¿Cuánto asistir a la escuela de Brookstone? Once again, we have an infinitive form. And that controls the singular formation of the verb. And our final, or second to last, is the verb everybody loves, dormir. Yo duermo. Nosotros. These are two more for you to look at. ¿Cuánto duermes tú cada noche? And the second, ¿dónde duermen ellos, tus amigos? ¿Dónde duermen tus amigos cuando pasan la noche en tu casa? And here's one for you to do. Think about what that would be. Do your dog sleep with you? I hope this has helped.
and I'm hoping you'll bring good questions to class tomorrow.